Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Unity tutorial. Today we'll be looking at the new Unity Open Project 1, which is Unity's attempt at having a game that's built up using community contributions so that anyone that wants to can go to the roadmap, have a look at what features need adding or what bugs need fixing, and then they can actually contribute them themselves. And I'll be showing you right now how to do that entire flow, so let's get started. So all the links are down below to what you need to access here. The first thing is the GitHub repository, and those of you who are programmers will use GitHub all the time. Those of you who are artists may not use it that often or may ne have never used it. So I'll put the link down below to GitHub and it will probably ask you to make an account. You go make an account. And then uh, here is the repository. So this is where the project lives. We have Unity Technologies, Open Project 1. And this is the game itself. And here we have issues, pull requests, and all this stuff. So you can read about it down here. There are links to these other parts. So for example, the forums. This is where people will discuss new features they want to add. So if you want to, uh, if you see a, an option for a new feature, or maybe you are just thinking it might be a good idea, you can talk about it on the forums. And then the Unity employees themselves can review what you say and say, yes, that's something we want. And if they do agree with that, they can then add it to the roadmap. This is the official roadmap. Only Unity themselves can actually modify this. Uh, I'll put the link down below. And you can go through here and you can see these cards, so Q&A, so quality assurance, uh, design and narrative, audio, effects and particles, and so on. And how it works is, if I go to bugs, well, there's two cards here and they're gray. And by being gray, it means no one is assigned to them. So this is perfect. It means that I can be the person to try and fix this bug here. And it's even linked to an issue, because this is a bug. So if I click this, it takes us back to GitHub and there's a little issues tab. And if I go back, it actually shows you both the two bugs that are on here. So let's say we want to fix this one. We see here, this is how uh, this is what the problem is, what should be happening instead, and how to reproduce. So what I can do is I can comment on it because I see on here no one is assigned. And I can say that like I would like to fix this bug. And then what will happen is if they agree with me fixing this bug, then they can go to codex and then they can assign uh, the community to this card. So they can't assign individual user accounts on here. Um, apart from the Unity employees themselves. So if we go over here to code, you see someone at Unity has this card assigned, whereas here, this blue and white logo means the Unity community. So it means someone in the community has already uh, requested to work on this. So you know basically not to bother because someone else will probably do it and then you'll have wasted your time. So you should look for anything that is gray. Any gray cards are up for grabs. And when you see something you want, if it's a bug and it's on the, the issues, then, whoops, if it's on the issues, then of course you just ask here. Whereas if it's a feature and it's on the forums, you ask here. So basically bug or feature is where you ask. Once you've asked to work on something, it's a case of sitting back and waiting because there's not, it's not really worth starting to work on it until they do assign it to you because they might change their mind. You know, maybe someone has already fixed it. You know, I, I just wait until they say, yep, go ahead and start working on it. So while we wait for someone at Unity to respond to my comment, let's head over to GitHub Desktop. And this is especially useful for those artists that don't know how to use a GitHub. Normally, uh, quite a few people will use the command line and type into the console on their PC to do all the commands, but you probably want to use something like this. It's really useful. So keep in mind, this isn't just for code. This is also for any assets, any changes to the project. So hit download, obviously downloads it. It'll ask you to sign into your GitHub account, assuming that you've already made one. And then once you're done with all that, you should end up somewhere like this. And if you ever get any problems doing anything on here and it says that something called Git is missing, different to GitHub, you can then head over to this downloads link and choose for your operating system, download that. It's a one-time thing that might it might ask you to do that if you've never used it before. So whilst we're waiting, let's also have a look through the game itself. So what we should do is we should go over to the uh, project over here and we want to have access to this project and we could just download it. We could what's called cloning it, which means we can go into the project and start using it. But if we clone it, we won't be able to actually push any changes, which means you know we can't actually make any changes on here because they own it. But what you can do is you can fork, which means you get your own personal copy of it. So if I click fork, I want to fork it to Dapper Dino and I'll give it a second. And now I've got my own Dapper Dino slash Unity Open Project 1. You see it over here on my projects. Unity Open Project 1. And now that I'm in here, I can copy this onto my PC and start working on it and make changes. And then if I ever make a change that I, for example, fix the bug and want them to add it to the real one, I can do what's called a pull request, but I'll be doing that when I've actually made a change. 
So what we can do now is go over to GitHub Desktop, and we want to clone a repository from the internet. And I should be able to find Dapper Dino slash Open Project One. So if I say Open Project One, here we go. Your repositories, Dapper Dino, Open Project One. And then I want to choose somewhere on my PC to go put it. So Unity Projects. I'll make a new folder called OP One. Select it and click Clone. How are you planning on using this? I want to contribute to the parent project, yes. And now we're done with that. So now we want to open up the project itself. Let's go to Unity, Add. We want to go to where my projects are. Go to OP1, Open Project 1, UOP1 Project. I've probably made too many folders here and gone too deep into it, but here we are. As long as you get to the level with Assets, Packages, Project Settings, you can then select. It adds it. And the version, they're using 2019.47F1. So the closest one I have is 2019.410. So that means it's the same Unity version, just with a different patch, so maybe some bug fixes in. It'll be fine. When you open, you'll say, yes, confirm, I know I'm using a different version. So the project's open, and I just clicked Character Controller Scene. So if your scene is missing, then go to Scenes, and then the Character Controller Scene. And if we hit Play, let's see if we can reproduce the bug. And the, the bug was that when you press WASD to move, the character snaps. So let's have a look. So yeah, the, the character snaps. When I press left and right, they just snap left and right. We want it to be so that they smoothly rotate to the direction that they're moving in. So let's have a go at fixing the bug. And while all this was happening, I noticed that back on GitHub on the issue, Chiro from Unity has said, hey Dapper Dino, I'll add it to you on the roadmap. Thanks. Here's the card, by the way. Let's click that. We go over here and you can see here that it says community has been assigned to this card. So no one else hopefully is going to have a go at trying to do it because I'm already on the job. So to fix the bug, let's look over in GitHub Desktop. And you can already see there's five changes here. And that's because when I opened up the project, it actually did some automatic updating of packages and stuff. And when contributing on this open source project, we really shouldn't be the ones deciding the package versions and stuff. So what you can do is just let it do this automatically, work on the project, then when you actually go to submit your changes, you just don't include these changes. You only include what you actually want. If you've been working on models, you just contribute the models. If you're working on code, you just contribute the code. So this problem is over in the scripts. Now, I already know where this problem is. Of course, this video is a bit uh, planned, just a little bit. So if I go over to the character script and open that up in Visual Studio. So let's have a quick look back at GitHub Desktop. And you don't have to worry about these things on the side right now because these are just the, like, things that happen automatically by Unity. We only care about pushing our own stuff. And we're currently working on the master branch, which is simply the, the, main, the main branch where all the changes are done. But we want to, in this case, make a separate branch to go do our bug fix on. And then once we're happy with it, we can merge it back. The problem is if you work on the same branch and then you realize you screw something up, you then have to go back and it's, it's really annoying. It's better to make these breaking changes on different branches and then when you're happy, you can merge them back. And if you make a branch and you make a mistake, then you can just get rid of that branch and nothing bad happens. So let's make a new branch for this bug fix called bug dash um, snappy dash movement. And we're gonna create the branch and it doesn't really matter which you choose here. I'll say, uh, I'll say the bring them with me. And then we're now in this branch called bug snappy movement and I can go in and fix the bug. And this video is more about how to contribute rather than what to contribute. So I'm just gonna copy paste the different changes I've made to actually fix this. So we want some setting for how smooth to make the actual movement. And I'll put that uh, maybe below the speed rather than at the top. And then I'll also go down to the private variables. So maybe here, whoops, maybe here, we can put in this turn smooth speed, which is used for uh, figuring out how much smooth rotation we should do every frame. And then if we go down to where currently, this is where the snapping is done, we just set it to be our movement vector. But instead of that, what I want to do is I want to change it to be this. And like I said, this isn't about how to, uh, it's not about what to contribute, it's about how to. So I, I've made this bug fix here. I did it beforehand to save time. So let's go back into Unity, hit play and see if we've actually fixed the problem. So if I hit play and I start to move around, you see the character does rotate smoothly. So I'd say I fixed the problem. And what do I do now? Well, I'm gonna stop Unity. And for those of you who are artists, this is the same thing. You now have maybe added your animation, created your model, done all that stuff, and now you're ready to go. So if we look back at GitHub Desktop, the actual only thing we want to contribute is this character file. This is the, the script. So I'm gonna uncheck the three of us and I'm going to commit saying 
fixed snappy movement bug. Make sure I spell it right, snappy. And then uh, I said, this is the only file I want to commit. So I'm going to say commit. And now that's done. So what I want to do is I now want to push. Give it a second. And now if I went to GitHub, that would be there online. And now that the push is done, it says last fetch just now, I can take this branch here, the change I've done, so the one change, and put it back into my master branch. So what I want to do is I want to change to my master branch. So master, switch, and uh, leave my changes. And back in my master, it's as if nothing has happened. But now I want to bring across my bug fix. So I can say branch, merge into current branch, the snappy movement branch. If I give that a second, it now says that I've got this new change and I can now push again. And finally, if I head over to the website again, if we go across to my version, so Dapadino open project one, you'll see that this branch is one commit ahead of Unity Technologies master because I have the fix bug for the snappy movement. So what that means is we're now actually ready to put this into the official Unity project. So if I go over to it, I can go to pull requests and I can make a new pull request. And this is requesting them to pull my changes. So by default, it's like this for some reason. So let's say across forks and I want to go find mine. So the head is Dapper Dino open project one master branch. And it'll come up saying here, you have one commit and one file change and this is it. So, yep, I'm happy with that. That's the change. So I want to create a pull request and it's called fix snappy movement bug. That sounds fine. And then what I want to do down here is I want to just say a comment. So in reality, it's just like the bug is fixed. There's nothing more for this bug. But I also want to link to a particular issue. I want to say, you know, the issue that it fixed. So issue and the issue, if I go to it, let's say issues, this one. So I want to take this URL and I want to put it here. So that's the issue I fixed. And I'm also going to link to the card that I was working on. So bugs, movement here. This is the uh, the link to the card. So it's here, movement is very snappy if using keyboard. So I'm going to say that there. And then I'm ready to go. So I'm going to click Create Pull Request. If we give it a second, it's now ready. It's checking whether there's any conflicts on my changes with the changes on the on the master branch, and there aren't. So it's actually ready to go now. And all we need is to wait for someone from Unity to actually approve our pull request. The one difference for you might be that it says, uh, that all checks haven't passed. And that's because it gives me a tick here saying I've signed the contributor license agreement because you have to sign that to contribute to say that your work is yours and all that stuff. So what you actually need to do here is it'll have a link and you go to that link and then you authorize and you come back and it's done. So it's nothing complicated. Just follow the, follow the link that it gives you. But for my case, uh, it's ready here to go. While waiting for someone from Unity to actually pull the branch, what we can do is if we want to, now you, I guess you don't want to do this if you're uh, not sure that they're going to accept it because maybe they'll come back saying, nice, but there's this one problem you had. And then in that case, you need to come back. But we're going to assume for the sake of this that you know they are just going to accept it. So if I change my branch back to the snappy movement branch, uh, it doesn't matter what you press here because we're just going to be deleting it. We're now done with this branch. So we go up to branch, delete, delete. Though I accidentally didn't click to delete it on remote, which will mean that if I go to my version, so if I go to my repositories and I go to uh, the open project one, it will stay that I still have this uh, snappy movement branch. So I should go to that branch or go to branches here, bug snappy movement. I can just delete it here. There we go. Refresh. And these two branches are actually by Unity, so don't bother messing with these, just leave them. So it's been some time, and now Chiro from Unity has actually checked the bug fix that I submitted. He checked that it works, it does work, and then now what he's done is he's added a uh, label to this pull request, and he's linked to the issue. So that issue that we made, or that we found earlier, is now actually closed. So movement is snappy, it's now a closed issue. And this has been merged, it goes purple and says merged. So if we go back to Unity Open Project code, you'll actually see here, if we go to the 33 commits, my commit is now in here. And if we went to the code, we could actually go in here and find, if we go to assets, scripts, and I did it in the character script, we can see that I've got this smooth time, this line that I did down here for the uh, smooth speed. 
And if we go down here, the calculation for the rotation. So it's all in there and I have now officially contributed to the Unity Open Project. And you can too. So if you're interested at all, take the links down below, have a look on the forums at the features people are talking about, have a look on the roadmap to see if there's anything you want to work on and have a go at contributing to this open project. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, then please leave a like and subscribe. If you needed any help, then feel free to comment down below and either I or someone in the community will help you out. I assume that'll mainly be people who haven't used GitHub before. If you've got confused by any of the terminology or how the software works, just ask down below and I'm sure someone will help you. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.